It's really hard to talk when you're jamming your tongue on my neck. Well, let's read his action to it. Oh, f sake! Jesus. I just want to let everyone know watching this, this is extremely painful. Alright, Doc! Put me back together, man. I have a lot more years left to me, but uh, I feel a little bit tight right now, so. Okay, here you're the man to sort that out. Yeah, and you're a big guy, so I'm gonna have to use a, a bigger hammer. So just so you know, you might have a, what we call like a reflex. If we hit yeah. one of the muscles, you good with that? Okay, let's, yeah. let's put you back together, man. Let's do it. Today we are live, Celtic Warrior Workouts, the one and only four-time WWE champ, the Mountain of Muscle, coming straight from ID. Mountain of Muscle, I like that one. Yeah, there we I go. I like that one, I like that one. He's got his own Instagram filter, if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you put that thing on your face, get that red on your mug. The, the women will be just falling all over you with that. Yeah. The women will be falling all over you with the beard and the hat. Well, actually, what suits you pretty good, you already have the beard, a bit of color in there, you'd be grand. The cap, you know, pork pie hat, you'd be set. But you're already married, so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. My wife likes the beard, so we keep the beard. Good idea. So yeah, we're coming from the home. You guys have seen it already. Make sure you guys jump over to his YouTube channel. Give him a, sub a subscription. He's got everybody over there working out, hitting the big weights. I mean, this is where the guns come from. This is the place where the, the muscle is built. He puts it together. He gets so swole in here. So that's that up. So yeah, he's got a few things going on. He's taken a lot of bumps over the years. So I had a lot of issues. A lot of neck issues. Uh, I talked about stenosis a couple of years ago. Uh, I had a torn labrum in my left shoulder. I snapped a tendon in my hand. Had a couple, couple of concussions, as you know, it happens in our business sure. because it's just, it's just such a fast pace. People say wrestling is fake and all that. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, the outcomes are predetermined, but the physicality in the ring is, is definitely not fake. Uh, and we have a crazy schedule, like before this pandemic, we were like on the road a minimum of four days a week. So if you can imagine four days a week, we drive up to five hours sometimes between towns. It's, you know, getting into the hotel at five in the morning, but then having to be up the next morning at 10 a.m. Because you want to get the gym in and then you want to have an early show on a Sunday, stuff like that. So it's been crazy, but I'm sure there's a lot more going on in my body. My hip's kind of like not great. I know I had an issue with a disc in my lower back as well uh, when I went for some MRIs. Neck, obviously, shoulder, uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's about the major stuff. But probably a lot of other stuff that's I don't know what's going on, but I'm overcompensating on every shoulder. It's just fucking just, just bring me back into it. I right. mean to build a bear and just replace all my parts. Okay. Now I'm nervous about what you're gonna tell me. What's wrong with me? Now, how many things are wrong? My posture sucks. I know that. But I was going to a physical therapist, and I was doing different stuff like for mobility work. You color it, or that's just a still? Oh, still just, I, wake, I wake up like this in the morning. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thanks, man. I appreciate it's it. Beautiful. We're not. We're not all lucky to be born ginger, you know. You know, some of us just have a beard full of gray. I uh, I used to hate being a redhead. Was, yeah. Yeah, when I was a kid, it was brutal. Uh, you, you grew up in the states? No. No, I grew up in Ireland. Okay, so we a lot, lot of redheads. Relatively normal, yeah. Yeah, well, you still, you know, we're always the minority in the class. But. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, like forty-five seconds, I think. I mean, not, uh, as a as a career. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. About eleven years. So you, you're on the road a lot, and you get like a lot of massage work done, or uh, is there yeah. something that you respond really well to? So. Jesus. Are you a yoga guy? Uh, no, but I do stretch. So I, it's really hard to talk when you're jamming your thumb on my neck. You say thumb funny. Thumb, yeah? Yeah. Well, not, what's Irish enough? Are you going to pronounce their H's? I like it. Now, I have a headache right now if I'm doing this. Is that normal? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I have a good, found, finally found a good massage guy here. He's an Asian lad. He used to work in the military, but he beats the sh out of me every time but it's definitely not a relaxing massage it's more like can i survive 90 minutes again of him jamming his his elbow in my back and my neck and all that sort of stuff but he's really really good and there's a chiropractic near me as well but i do a lot of uh i do the table where the, the what's it called the decompression table okay so i get my neck done as well every so often just to 
I mean, do you, do you agree with that? I mean, I don't know much about it, but I know it's supposed to help with spacing of your discs. Yeah, I like it. So it works. Yeah, it's not a waste of money. It definitely doesn't make you worse, but yeah. It, the no, theory, it, it works though. It the does theory work. is sound. Okay. Let me just say that. As long as it's not, I'm not wasting money. If, if you're money. constantly impacting your discs, you know, any opportunity you get to create some more space is going to be more beneficial than not. Okay. What's your, what's your theory on um, inversion tables? Mixed bag. I think, you know, A, they're pretty cheap, so that's nice. Yeah. Uh, B, you know pretty quickly when you get on there if you feel better or not. There are certain types of back pain it really helps a lot for, and there's certain times that it makes worse. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people do really well with them. Some don't notice much of a change. So it really, every person is a little different on that one. I say it's about 60-40, 60% do better with it, and 40 is not much change. Maybe a, a tiny fraction makes it worse, but that's okay. not very often. It's only when they don't follow the instructions and they turn it all the way upside down. Oh yeah, that's me. Fall on their head. I, I'm the type of person who just goes like, all or none. I go 100% or nothing, yeah. There you go. Were you a wrestling fan growing up? Yeah, I love wrestling. Okay, so you, you, you had an eye out the whole time. Yeah, like on that TV over there, me and Miro, basically we're working out together, we'll watch uh, a lot of classic wrestling, wrestling challenge or Saturday night's main event from the, like from 89, 1991, okay. a lot of the old stuff. Yeah, because Miro was saying he was a huge Hulk Hogan fan. Yeah. You know, you too? Uh, I was more savage. I okay. was a big savage fan. Savage fan. Yeah, uh, I like yeah. Warrior, Bret Hart. George Animal Steel, I liked him too. Because he, okay. he was the first feud I saw on TV was him and Savage. I think it was around, just after, I think it was WrestleMania 2. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So he was about what, like six years older than Miro? Yeah. That makes sense. Oh my God. Miro Slavovich. That's, that's your spot right there. That is your spot right there. So were you into bodybuilding first, or was wrestling first, or? Um, like doing it, you mean? Yeah, like what, what I was play, the... I played Gaelic football in Ireland, which is like a mixture, it's a national sport, mixture of soccer rugby. and rugby. Yeah. But I started working out when I was 15, and my dad got me a membership for my 15th or 16th birthday. I'm trying to figure out which one it was. A gym called Tony Quinn's Gym, and the only reason I started training was because my best mate, who I was always like, looking out for, got picked on a lot. Uh -huh. I was always kind of his big mate, took care of him. And then when he started working out, I was like, Jesus, he's gonna be bigger than me. He's not gonna need me to help him anymore. So I just started working out too. So we started working out together. And then, and then uh, he gave up and I kept going, Jesus. Look at you now. Yeah, look at me now. Just take a look at him now. Look, look, look at this, this is great. So he's great. He's got so, a bum in his shoulder. So sometimes I get, I still get pins and needles down my arms or like hot flush, flushes down my arms. Is that a bad sign? Both sides? Yeah. Does it go to the whole arm? Uh, so, sometimes, yeah. Is that yeah. bad? Um, could be. Okay. But you have so much muscle in your shoulders, it could easily be pinching in there too. Yeah. There's not a lot of space here for all your nerves to go through. So it's not just the neck. Okay. I mean, it's part of the neck too, obviously you know that you've had imaging. But yeah. Like for example, like we get into these spots here. Oh, Jesus Christ. You make you tap out. Did you ever feel like you made uh -huh. a mistake? Me or her? Oh, me. Oh, yes. <sighs> well, he's got the leg trapped and he got the, the, the peck move. There we go. Okay, let's lay face up here. <laughs> I thought we were done. Are we not done? <laughs> not even close. Go Just back. get to start. I should have taken some. Whiskey before with, I do with the this. shame arena. But now I know what I got whiskey inside if I should have done a couple of shots. What are you drink you're not drinking proper twelve? No, I'm not drinking proper twelve. <laughs> no disrespect, uh, but No disrespect, but I like whiskey. I like good I don't have like, to, I don't want to have to put like two or three different soft drinks in my drink for it to taste good. There it goes. Uh, proper twelve likes is, it old fashioned. Proper twelve is more for lads if you're shooting shots like Jameson, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you like good whiskey. Young you guys. Know. Yeah, young guys. Chillins. Alright, what's happening now? We're gonna decompress. Okay, you worried about me trying to punch you or something? <laughs> okay. That's Fisher. Uh, yeah, he's got some meat paws here, wow. man. <laughs> like, if you guys want to just take everything out of the house, you can, you can go ahead. You don't have to, like, tie me down. <laughs> to the table. Just go take the TV. Or what if you take you the guys. dogs? Take the four dogs, you know? <laughs> All right. Try to relax completely there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that was, I felt that like in the mid region of my back. In the middle regions? Yeah. Beautiful. So like a piece of wood I can bite on or something. Steel, I think. Twisted steel. Twisted and steel. 
Maybe a banana peel? Maybe. I'll take what I can get. So what do you like to listen to for music when you're working out? So if I'm at home, whatever, if something's on, I'll turn on the TV. I'll like I'll put soccer on or American football, whatever's on. And then if not, I'll listen to, I'll put the Rocky, <laughs> the Rocky soundtrack. Yeah, I like it. Bit of Pearl Jam, Audio Slave, some certain Foo Fighter albums. And I'm just doing cardio. I'll just kind of like chill with some 80s or something like that. So like a grunge guy? I look, grunge and 80s are my jam. Uh, ACDC is my jam. Van Halen? Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite ever songs, Jump. Mm. Alright, take that hand and reach down towards your foot. Which one? This one. Mm. And shrug back up. So how did you come best buds with Miro? You guys uh, on the road? Yeah, we on the road together for a while, but you know, we're just cordial, you know, like just locker room mates, you know what I mean? And then we just started hanging out more. He said you guys have a European bond. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Definitely, and but we, in the beginning we weren't we weren't super close. Didn't really know each other too much. Even after League of Nations, it's actually just, it was it was a good European bond. We had a good time. Yeah. Everyone having a few drinks at the bus. After uh, so uh, the, the debate came in was is Ireland really part of Europe? Yeah, which is not attached to Europe. It's part of the EU, but is it really yeah. Europe? That's an island. I don't think we're. I don't think we don't consider ourselves Europeans. Right. Definitely not. Because then the question was: Is Iceland part of Europe? Which he said yes, and I said, what about Greenland? And he said, no. I said, okay, this is... Uh, yeah. I feel like our aisle uh, is a little bit arbitrary here. Because, I mean, you've got this big old boot-looking thing between you and the continent. Yeah, well, England, yeah. Uh, they're, they're not doing too good right now. Yeah. The whole Brexit thing is a mess. Brexit. <sighs> Don't know anything about it. Oh, neither do I. Don't watch the news. Yeah. I know that... Uh, I just know that they're just no longer part of Europe. <laughs> so they're not Europeans then, I guess, I suppose. They're definitely, they're never were. No. This is a very historical lesson we're doing here. Well, you know? uh, my two favorite Normans were Bates and Craig. <laughs> you ever seen the shark uh, logos on like golf shirts, polo shirts? <sighs> Greg Norman. No. Love second place finishes the majors. <sighs> Take the hand reach down towards your foot and shrug back up. And reach down, and shrug, and reach, and shrug, and reach, and shrug, and reach, and shrug, and reach, and shrug, and reach. Fook. What does fook mean? That's it's a politically correct term for PG thirteen. This is a good. This is a family channel here, so. Hundred percent. We didn't have an attitude error on the chiropractor channel. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need one. Didn't need one. There we go. All right. So let's bring this knee up towards the chest. And then take it back down. And back up. And back down. So other than Miro, who's, you got any friends from work? You got Yeah, Drew, uh, Drew McIntyre is a great friend of mine. Yeah. Claudio Cesaro. Okay. Claudio Castanelli is Cesaro. I get on most of the lads, but probably the closest I'm with is I'd say Becky, Seth, Cesaro, Drew, and uh, Rusev. Rusev. Rusev, yeah. Rusev what a char What a character he is in real life. Yeah, it's funny because on our video, like everybody was mad at, at, the, at the, the company for not letting his character shine. They said he's hilarious. Why did you guys make him into a not talking brute? Brute, yeah. He's very funny, man. He's very, very quick with it. Just hilarious. Like, just like yourself. Fairly handsome, too. Handsome Rusev, that's the thing. You know? It's real. Yeah, it's real. Now he's the best man. He's the best man. Which I was confused. I said, is there a wedding or, you know, he's thinking. I don't know if those people are, those two are ever getting married. Ever. How long has it been now? 17 years. Uh, well, you know, the pandemic sort of messed everything up. It does that. I just want to let everyone know watching this. This is extremely painful. I've gone through crazy matches, but someone jabbing their bleeding thumb as strong as he is into your what the hip hip flexors? Yeah. And then into your shoulder, your pec. Jesus. It's worse than the wooden spoon off your Irish ma when you're a kid. A wooden spoon and Irish ma. Oh my ma used to love that wooden spoon, man. Any time I did something wrong, she'd be chasing me around the gaff with a and most of the time she'd catch me. She was faster than I was. So it's kinda of like a chonkla in our culture. What? It's like the shoe. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, but this is 
This is way worse than the shoe. Yeah, the belt. I back of, back, of, back of the legs too. Get you the back of the legs. Yeah, which is worse. Or on the hands. Yeah, when you stick your hands back there. Yeah. I got it a lot. My no, dad made it two by four. <laughs> oh, they're oh, too got... big. He's used to use the wooden paddles you'd stir the, the paint with. Wow. Yeah. And then they would start breaking on us. And he said, you know, I'm going to cut a two by four. And he cut like a couple holes for like wind resistance. Oh my God. And we would hide it. And then he would find it again. And we'd get extra swats for hiding it. I got the poker too. You know the poker? Oh. The fire. Oh. The metal poker. I got oh. that. I, I got that one time. That's a level up. That's next level. That was. That's next level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty good. After the, after poker, I was pretty good for a while, actually. I'd set records for not, not getting in trouble. There you go. So I want to do colors that like pops and obviously the, the orange and the gray and the black and white with the channel. So it just, when you come in here, it's like, you're motivated to work out. The color is gonna like fire you up a bit. I tell you, what is that you're working on there? It's your rectus for Morris. Oh, cool, yeah. It just rolls off the tongue. Yeah, rectus both. <sighs> well, mostly. Yeah. Rolls right off the tongue. How long does it take you to memorize all these scientific words? Uh, a few years. You think you just come up with a simple word for each one, wouldn't you? No, it has to be Latin based. Could be wrong on that. Yeah, pretty rock solid, man. Not bad. You're a beast. It's pretty stuck. So what what is this right now you're working on? This is the quadratus lumborum. Okay. Now why is it jacked up on me? Well it attaches to your lumbar spine and allows you to tilt side to side. Okay. It's tight because you just carry too much muscle. Oh, okay. Ball of masculinity and swollen. It's the price to pay, man. I'll tell you. If you're gonna be 6'3", 240, jacked, you're gonna have some quadratus lumborum issues. It's like being rich, you're gonna have some tax issues, you know? Yeah. How long do your videos normally last again? Approximately like 42 minutes, depending on the runtime and commercials. And if we have an inter intermission, you know. Sometimes we throw in like a four minute dance party in the middle there. <laughs> depending on what's going on. Right now it's the June bug challenge. So, June bug challenge. Yeah. But we can do like a river dance or something like that, you know. I'm open. Interpretive dance is good too. I don't know, how, how about you boogie? You're a dance guy? I'm not a dance guy. You're a dance guy? I'm not a sober dance guy. <laughs> but when I have a drink, I'm even the best dancer in the world. So, I mean, I think we could change that. Q6 are good. Building houses. All right, right side up again. And left side. How about that side? Right's better. So what's, uh, who are the biggest celebrities you've worked on? Uh, biggest? Yeah. Or the ones you're most excited about? Biggest is probably Quentin Aaron. <laughs> Play the, the blind side. Oh yeah, yeah. Big Mike, he's about six foot nine, 520 pounds. Jesus. And then uh, some of the world's strongest man guys are, you know, six, eight, 400 pounds. That's crazy. Some boys. Some basketball players are, you know, seven feet. Those are pretty big guys. Yeah, put two tables together for those guys. Huh? Yeah, these, these tables, uh, they're already pushing it with you and Miro. CJ will be okay on the table, but you know. Yeah. Where's that one again? Okay. Wow, such a huge difference. It's close, it's close. <laughs> close? You almost took me out. I'm oh, sorry. No, I was leaning forward and I didn't know that leg was coming back up again. What's your favorite part about wrestling? The fans, definitely. They're working like when you're wrestling in front of the crowd, the adrenaline rush from the fans, especially if like you've got fans who are super into what you're doing. For the last year, we've had no fans, so for me, it's just the competition, like the having a good match, a physical match, the physicality. I love it and telling a good story. That's important. It, it, it's almost like an art form, right? Like you know, when you really put on a good show. It's like playing a musical instrument. Yeah, you're trying to hit that perfect pitch every single time. Is that how you describe it? I definitely do. Yeah, and the thing is, like too, like. You know, with the crowd there, like certain matches that you know we have now that there's no fans there seem great, but with with a hot crowd in there as well, it can just seem unbelievable. They can yeah. make it so much, so so much bigger. It's definitely one thing we're we're seriously missing. So he's, again, he's about to get underneath your shoulder blade here. So you guys are about to get really friendly. So here, nice Let's to meet you, Dr. Carlos. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go under here. Oh no, wait, the subs capture. And there. Arr. There we go. Let's do the motion. Yeah, that's it. 
Venezuela meets Ireland. Yeah, how's it going? The new League of Nations. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> Great. Great League of Nations. Yeah, there we go. Un poco más fuerte. Deep inside of you. I hate that subscribe stuff though. Yeah. I hate it. But it works so good. It does, boy. But it better is like the Dickens. <laughs> how does that get, how does your soap scalp get messed up? How does from, that? From t pulling that elbow in tight to your body. It's like you're pressing or, you know, even stabilizing anything like that. Yeah. You're activating that muscle a lot. Right. And then when you're on like a plane mm -hmm. or whatever, your elbows are in tight. That gets tight yeah. there too. Urgh. A little serratus action too. Oh, f sake. Urgh. God damn. Got this, bro. Do I? You got this. Brave change. Brave change. The serratus is beastly. It's almost stronger than my finger. No. Almost. Mm. Alright, now push down to the finger. I'm using my hand, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, relax it. I gotta get that one now. Get your breath. It's hard to breathe when you got like, <laughs> but that pain is going through your body. Yeah, yeah that's some scap stuff, dude. Yeah. God. Let's get this lat too. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna raise the roof. He was much nicer with me. <laughs> he was? Yeah, he was great. No. I'm not buying it. Push down. Hey! That's great. Some activation. Just need to come over every week and do that. <laughs> Just fly in from New Mexico. Get in that, get out of that total blood. Mm -hmm. right. A lot of this normally lasts for though. Like all the stuff you're doing is great. You know, it'll be great for 72 hours and better for probably two weeks. Yeah. And then all the stuff you're doing will make it come back. Okay. That's why the home exercises are so important. But you got to make yourself go through that yourself. You have the home exercises? Mm -hmm. That's great. I'm going to take them off you today. How long do you normally take the home exercises? Yeah, yeah. 10 minutes maybe. 10 minutes? Yeah. You do it before every workout? Home rehab stuff, yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Especially the shoulder blade stuff, especially if you've already had surgery and all that. I'd love to, I'd love to be able to, like, I don't have the strength, I just don't have, like, my shoulder stuff. I'd love to start, like, pressing people over my head again. That would be a lot of how long that would take for me to get back to that. I think you do. Is that the issue stability? Maybe stability and flexibility. Flexibility. Yeah, both. Okay. So let's go to here and then go up all the way. Tilt back a little bit more? Does that feel crampy? Mm, it feels uh, not crampy, but it feels a little tight on the side. And kind of, it's tight on both, but more on the left. I shouldn't have said anything. It's picking up a hammer now. Just do it, man. Yeah. Keep pulling down. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. A little more. 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 Definitely a lot better. Does it look more, like yeah. a more range of motion? For sure. Tuck that elbow down a little. All right, now go back again. Right. So where do you get these tools? This Home Depot, is it? This one is custom made. <laughs> See that logo? That means infinity. That's awesome. Yeah, I've got the, the, the snake eating itself, the Ouroboros, kind of same type of vibe. Life renewing itself, that's cool. So he knows about it, all that symbolism. I mean, I might be a Freemason, he might be Illuminati, I'm not sure, you gotta ask Seamus yourself. I just like the Google machine, you know? I like to read a little bit. Yeah, a little Doug Doug Go? Yeah. Mozilla Firefox? Oh, is this still there? I don't know. That was a mistake I made when you were on the other side. Pull a little more, pull a little more. Hey! Wow, look at that. Yeah! Man got flexibility. That's awesome. In the corner, I definitely, need to get the, I definitely need to get those exercises off because I definitely want to keep keep it going. Because yeah. I said I can come in here in the morning, I can do all that stuff, and then I can then I can go and lift. You know. Got you. Yeah. Half a deep breath in and out. Oh. Did you hear something? I heard something. Did you hear something? <laughs> I felt something. <laughs> what did you just release there? Mid back. Mid back. Thoracic. 
It's fun. That's awesome. Does that make me taller? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you're standing taller? Huh? You're standing up taller. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel taller. Uh, I feel taller. So how you feel now? I feel awesome. No, I feel great. Honestly, uh, I like I knew you were gonna help, definitely help me feel better. Like I have a lot of stuff that's going on from wrestling over the, over the years. Some of the adjustments, like obviously, my biggest goal is always to get like my shoulders back. You know what I mean? I've always had an issue where I'm kind of stumped forward. I worked in IT for about ten years as well, so I have definitely been in that situation where I'm like bent over a lot, and I never had the best posture. But I've always been trying to like work on physical therapists to get this. But like. So some of those releases you guys have done have been, have been great. That back crack, the neck, and obviously then working on my shoulders and everything else. And then you know, I didn't really, I mean, I didn't really enjoy it digging your thing, thumb into my neck and my thoracics, but it's, 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 you know, no pain, no gain, right? Part of the game, man. Yeah. Awesome. So am I good? You're great. <laughs> What do I need to do to maintain all the work that you've done today? Yeah, for you primarily, what we really need to work on doing is keeping the lower lats loose, the subscapularis loose, that serratus loose right there. Those are the biggies. And, and this? Hip flexors. Yep. And, and then ankles too. So I still need to mobilize your ankles and your shoulders. Okay. So you just run. <sighs> <sighs> do you find a lot of stuff like this on your own? Yes. This, yeah. Trial and error. Always. It's the scientific method, right? Yeah. You sit there and you read a biomechanic book, you, you go to a seminar, you get a theory, and then you implement it. So I, I tested on all these guys first. <laughs> so all of our doctors get beat up first, and then if it works there, then we implement it on some of our patients that we're more familiar with, then we just move on from there. That's awesome. Ah, oh, yeah, that's interesting. And back. And forward. And back. Feels great. My ankles definitely do get locked up a lot, especially my wrestling boots when I'm wearing them like every week. And obviously squatting and then belt squats. I don't do barbell squats anymore. I just we just do belt squats. The green machine. So the only thing I'll put the bar on my back for is uh, is for barbell lunges, stuff like that. But otherwise, I, I try not to. Smart man. That's a good modification. Is that the way forward? You think squats are a good idea or a bad idea? I think for most people they're not. Unless you're gonna be a power lifter, maybe a, like a during college while you're a college athlete, yeah. Yeah. But to be 25, 30, 35, unless you're making money with it, you know, if you're a pro bodybuilder, uh, power lifter, I think the risk reward isn't really worth it. Deadlifting. What's your opinion on deadlifting? You know, Same thing. Uh, I think that's a lot more dependent on your body structure and your anatomy. For me, it's a no-go. Uh, okay. For a lot of people, it's a no-go. I, I definitely prefer stuff like this that's decompressing the spine. Like a hex, uh, bar, a hex bar. I like hex bars better. Hex bar, yeah, are better, yeah. Yeah, because the, the center of gravity is not tilting you forward all the way. Yeah. So you're you're more under control. You're using your legs more. I do prefer that. You know. Um, okay. I don't like a flat barbell grip on almost anything, whether it's flat bench press or deadlift or things. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I actually did too. I bought a, a multi grip bar for um, for benching because like you really have to pull your elbows in. Exactly. So I bought them, and it's a lot more stability. So forces better. There, yeah. Yeah, because I can't do that thing because of my shoulder. I, pressure. I hardly do the thing. You know what I mean? Bring it. Bring the elbows in. Because if I'm doing dumbbells, you know, I don't do that way. I do it this way. Do that again. <laughs> Damn. The python. Small T-shirts. Baby gap. Yeah. Um, Smuggling cannons in that shirt. That's great though. No, I like that because I, I did stop doing squats. And I did stop doing deadlifts, and I just thought like I wasn't sure if it's an ego thing. Well, you're not squatting, you're not deadlifting. It's, yeah. like, it's that an ego thing, you know what I mean? But I do. My body has never felt better by knocking those two exercises. Well, you're looking for longevity too, right? You're not looking to be the strongest guy in the gym right now. That doesn't do you any no. good next week or the week after. No, it doesn't. Drop the ego on that one, you know. It's fun when you're 20, but yeah. you know if there's only so much cartilage in your body, and you just keep going to the well over and over again, you'll pay the price eventually. Exactly. There's only so many things that. Um, that weight belts and knee sleeves will do, especially you know, after so many years, after yeah. so many squats. Yeah. At this but point, yeah. you've got the foundation. All you need to do is keep those muscles activated and full of glu uh, glucose, glycogen. And you look swole. Swole. Swole life is swole. Swole is the goal, man. You know and, what I mean? Swole is the bleeding goal. As they say in Dublin, dirty Dublin. And that's the goal. So make sure you go over there, check out Celtic Warriors YouTube. I'm dropping the link down in the bio below. And all social medias, same thing. Same to you. Check out both. Dr. Hightower, right? Yes, sir. I think he's about to get revenge like, on Don't check out, you know what I mean? Dr. Hightower's YouTube or Celtic Wire workout. Now get one of these, fella!
Uh, make sure you give him a su subscription. He's got like 800, 900,000 subs over, maybe over a million. I don't even know now. Not a million, but we're, we're, we're getting close. We're in the 700s, so I've been mean, doing pretty good over the last couple of years. But I appreciate you giving us a plug. Yeah, Celtic Warrior Workouts. You want to have a look at Brave Chain? Check out some awesome workouts where I'm always looking like I'm out of breath and gasping to keep up with whoever I'm in there with. It is a really good inspiration to try something new, different types of workouts, especially for people who go to the gym and they go to a trainer who doesn't really want to be there, he's a minimum wage and he mostly tells people like, oh, just do this, 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 and he expects everybody to go in there and do a whole workout, which as everybody knows, it takes a long time to learn how to use all those machines. So it can be very intimidating for people in gyms for the first time. So there's a lot of workouts in there that you can do at home. Uh, and, and they can follow you, what are you doing? You're on Twitch, you're on Instagram, I'm Twitter, not Twitch. Not Twitch. Uh, Instagram, WB Seamus, Twitter, WB Seamus, and uh, Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Meat farmers or meatfarmers.com, yeah. Meatfarmers.com. <laughs> He's on there too. <laughs> is there meat farmers? I, I don't know. Maybe there is sure that. Is, yeah. if, if you haven't already it's gotten the URL, make sure you get it. It's going to be in high demand. It'll be even hotter than GameStop stock, I'm pretty sure, going forward. Oh, so yeah. 